What's up guys, Ankle Spankin here, and today we are playing as the new Korean Caitlyn build. And I air quote all of that because I tried to look for this build after multiple people recommended it to me, and I couldn't find anything, even though there was multiple different people recommending it to me, so... I don't know. I, I have no idea. But the build is Muramana Caitlyn with Lethality. Um, it's really interesting. and You actually do a decent amount of damage, but you revolve a lot of your damage around just ulting. Like, ulting, getting single damage pokes off with your autos, and all that jazz. And it's really not bad. I mean, from what I played, I played one game of it, and I went like... 6-0 oh, and 9 or something with the most damage and it was awesome because uh, instead of just going infinity edge like you normally do you kind of just get your mur mana and then you can queue like every single wave ever because it's weird like that <laughs> it's cool but it's weird so let's get this to level 2 though and see what we can do mm hmm Boink. What? How'd she like get pulled to the side from my trap? That's not how that works. All right. Okay. Interesting. I guess like so. I tried to throw the trap right under where the hook was, and she like faded to the side. That was weird as hell. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll just have to get used to it. I haven't played Kate with a Blitz in a long time, so maybe I'm just being wonky. I didn't trust that auto attack. I did not trust that auto attack. We do have Lee Sin down here though. So let's go ahead and get him. If he takes that, I just trap right next to the Blitzcrank. It's totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Yeah, anyways though, this build is pretty fun. In this lane, we should have a pretty easy time overall with most things. The trap right in front of him to try and get it in time. But it'll be kinda weird. I just have to be paying attention where the uh, where the Leona is and what happens when Blitzcrank hooks either of them. And I'll be super fine. As far as build, like I said, it's gonna be Murmana into Lethality. Uh, after that, let's see. <laughs> nice hook, dude. Nice hook. But after that. Uh, or not after, but for that ends, we need to get our pickaxe first and then go for the tier. Because getting the tier early is not going to do you any good, especially not in the laning phase. So you want to get that pickaxe immediately so you've got some early AD. And then getting the tier is an afterthought. Because you'll stack it once you get mana immune instead of just the tier. Uh, you'll just stack it through your auto attacks and it'll stack relatively quickly. So... No big rush on getting that item. No big rush whatsoever on getting that item. Whoa. What the... What the heck? Hmm. Leona actually went onto that herself. Okay. I still have my heal, too. Because they used their ignite and didn't even get remotely close to killing the Blitzcrank there. Nice. And here it comes. Also, it is worth noting that if Blitzcrank hooks anyone over any like any of my traps that are already on the ground, regardless on where they end, as long as they go over the trap, they will get trapped. And that is important to know for the interaction on um, Lee Sin. And it's why I actually like playing Caitlyn into Lee Sin, because if Lee Sin cues you and then takes it, you can just trap anywhere in the path that his Q is going to take him and it'll trap him on the way to you so it's a it's, it's a very nice little combo that you or not combo but interaction for our side of things I've got a lot of money so ideally I just back you know whenever here but right now since they've only got a Kirk case chart and they're pretty low it doesn't necessarily benefit me to back and give like alleviate this pressure so I can deny them more by not backing right now because like I said since we're not in any time crunch to get the uh, tier it's not a big deal not a big deal at all and as long as I'm paying attention to where the least sin is we should be fine she's gonna, 
you. Okay, I'm gonna miss that minion too. That's okay. Alright, Lee Sin's top, so we're good. We are good to be under this tower with the big wave. The trap right there. Ooh. Nice. Flash for flash. And their heal. So, there goes that. That's not gonna kill her, but it'll do some damage. It'll do some damage for sure. And now they really want to back. And this is where I came back to. Um, Cause it's not gonna be a big deal at all. But here we go. Now I back. I should've been up there getting the turret plate instead of cracking my knuckles, but whatever. Whatever. I didn't notice it was that low from the minions hitting it. My bad, my bad. Now I look like a goon. Oh well. So we got the tier. We got the pickaxe. We've got quite the lead on her already. 7 minutes, 25 CS lead almost. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill you guys in on a little, a little secret here. I played Caitlyn yesterday on my stream. And it was the first game of Caitlyn I'd played in like months. So forgot like everything about her. End of that game at like... Zero and five at like 18 minutes. It was awful. Absolutely terrible. And that happens. But it actually like kind of made me think a little harder about how I need to play Caitlyn and kind of retaught me in a sense um, how I need to utilize this champion. So we will use that to our advantage. Use that knowledge. As long as you take your, uh, you know, your mistakes as lessons, you can actually learn a lot out of them. Because surprisingly enough, even though I went 0-5 and just got my ass railed and handed to me, it, it was kind of eye-opening. Like, in the sense that I need to play completely differently. Because a lot of the AD carries I play are very strong early. Um, in the sense that I can actually fight with them in the lane phase. Or, like, I can fight level 1. In Caitlyn, in a lot of cases, if there's any champions that do have level 1 abilities that do a lot of damage, you just can't do that. You just simply can't do that. Um, of course, it comes down to support dynamic as well. All things like that. And, ooh! Do I need to actually throw my trap literally under his butt? Is that where Blitzcrank's hook brings people? Because I keep trying to throw my traps... It's just barely in front of Blitz. Just barely in front of the Blitz. So maybe... Maybe I'd need to be setting them just like inside of him. Like just right under his butt. I'm saving one trap at, uh, pretty much all times. We do have Lee Sin here. We do have a lot of people here. This is bad. That's Nico. I'm not gonna bother using my summoners here. I I don't think that was worth it for Lee Sin to use his flash for that. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm almost a hundred percent positive he was dead there. So I I don't think that uh, I don't think that flash was very necessary for anything. I think that was just style points. But you go, girl. You go. All right. Well, we got the man immune. Another long sword in the bank. Like I said, we go full lethality now. And I have no idea what build this guy's going for. It looks like he's going for the I'm worthless build, where he uh, actually builds no combat stats whatsoever and just builds mana. So it's it's an interesting one. Ooh. Ooh. That damage. What's up, fellas? How you guys grilling? God damn. At least Sin just got welcomed right to the Thunderdome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. How much AD does this give me right now? 51. That's not bad. Damn. Just chunking her out. What? Did she just run into my face? I was not expecting that. I would have just killed her if I expected that to any extent. 
Oh my gosh. Put my shield down and... Oh, she jumped through my trap. Hip. Hmm. You don't win this, m'lady. You don't win this. Hey. Ice flash. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I tried to go for a super stylish, mega, ultra cool play, and then I just looked like a goon. I tried to flash over the Leona so I could net away back towards my side of the map and hit the Kaisa with my net to get the headshot off onto her. But then I hit Leona with my net and then just kind of shot Kaisa in the face and killed her. But it was almost cool. It was almost really cool. Let's see. Dude, we're all 50 CS up now. Nice. And boop, boop. Lethality incoming, baby. So let's see what this does. At 12 minutes, our ultimate's doing 605 damage. That's a lot of damage. Ooh, you hate to see it. Ooh, you hate to see all of it. Oh, no. Okay, don't worry, team. I'm coming in here. I'm coming. I'm kind of walking slowly, but I'm coming. Okay. All right, don't worry, team. I'm walking slowly back towards bottom now. <laughs> don't mind me. Hopefully, Lee Sin's not in here. All right. Because if he was, I would have been sad. And we don't like to be sad. We like to be glad. Oh, good try. NT, NT. All right, rise, teleport. And let's just grab all of these. Okay, sick. You, Leona's mid. What? Uh oh. Can we help her at all? Oh, the nice root actually. Uh, uh oh. Oh nope, she might still be dead. Yep, she's still dead. Yep, she she's still dead. Heep. Wait, dude, that so much damage. I wonder if I can just like kill her. Which one's the real one? I want to try and alter, but I don't know which one's the real one. Wait, does my Q actually just kill entire backwaves already? That's insane. Gotcha. Whoop. Hit. Dude, 400 damage just like that. That's that's spicy. And look at this wave bottom they're missing. Oof. Oof. All right. Here's the nutty damage on the back wave. Dude, all of them dead just like that. And I'm holding the headshot right here because I'm not confident in, like, throwing the headshot immediately and then actually getting the minion. Kaisa's trying to run it up behind us, but I'm not sure what she plans on doing there. Because she was over here. Where'd you go? Oh, there she is. I can actually get my Yomus right now, and I would really like to get that. Because I can... Oh, not only can I get Yomus, I can get my second serrated Dirk. So that's really good. Ah, I can't get up there in time to help. I could net over this wall. Oh my god, he actually got her. I didn't think he was going to get her, and I just wanted to get this minion wave instead. Oh my god, dude. CSing with this build is so easy. What the hell? This is actually the easiest thing to CS with. Just Q and the entire wave is gone. Alright. I can get behind that. So let's go back. <sighs> Wait, dude, our mid and top are just, like, feeding their ass off. Nice. Oh, dude, this is perfect! Okay, so our Ezreal is finally getting items, and we know what build he's going for now. He's going for AP. So, since my entire team is going full AP, the enemy team is not going to build armor, making my lethality so much more useful. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. All right. So, I want to go top right here. And try and help get our Mordekaiser out of this rough, rough lane for him. Um, 
Because he's, he's struggling pretty hard against that rise up there. So we would like to get up there, get him out of that lane, take that tower for him. You know, the biz. <laughs> I'm having fun. I accept your failure. That was the longest range Leona auto attack I've ever seen in my life. You go, girl. When did I use my net? I'm trying to think when I used my net because my net was on cooldown there for some reason and I don't remember using it ever. I don't actually remember using it ever. So I'm trying to I'm trying to think did I just like forget that I used it at some point? Did I use it to try and get in range of something up here? Or am I just tripping? Am I just like being a goon? Oh, if I can get in range of her, I think I can kill her. Oh no, she's gonna kill the the tower and get out. No, no, greed for the wave, come on! Come on, you want this wave? You want the wave, don't you? No, please. I want you to want the wave. I can't go up here for these, uh, these minions right now. Because if Lee Sin's down here, yeah, exactly. So, that's exactly why I can't walk forward to that wave and clear it. Because we know that I am... I'm in business getting range. Business getting range. And we don't want to get the business gotten to us. Okay, 369. I'm just going to run up here with my blitz. Give this rise a piece of my mind with my ult. Oh, wait. Oh, damn. I was hoping she would, like, for some reason, have just never backed. Is he going to punch this as I walk by? He's not. <laughs> Delivery! Delivering the blitz right into the rise. That'll be the shutdown for Mordecai. That'll give him some good money. And that's super good for him. I'm just going to set up a small trap line right here. That way we can get this uh, Rift Herald pretty uncontested. There we go. Wait, what the? What the? I'm, I'm auto-attacking so hard. I'm not auto attack. There you go, Mordecai's is broken. So while Lee Sin's trying to be all super cool and show off his thick mechanics, our Mordecai's is just gonna kill everybody, and then he's probably gonna get killed by this Lee Sin too, because he just popped his shield. He's dead. <laughs> As prophesized! <laughs> As prophesized, my lord! <laughs> Fantastic. Wait, what the hell? Stop building stop building armor! What are you doing? What is this? Oh, he's gonna still go for the like normalish Ezreal build. Hopefully he still goes A D after that though. Hopefully, hopefully. How much damage does my level 2 ult do? 525 plus 389, so 900 damage ultimate at 20 minutes. It's not bad. And my gathering storm just kicked in for the 20 minute version of it. And Rise is on these as we speak. So I feel like Oh no, I feel like we could have taken him. Okay. He did. Bye bye. Huh. Alright, here comes Blitzcrank though. Get him. Yeah! Got him with the trap, so that's really good too. If she hits the snare, I can totally go ham skis on him. Ooh. Ooh, that's not the real one. Oh my lordy lord Jesus. That hurt. Oh, dude, I didn't know I could trap the fake one. I've never played Caitlyn against a Nico. Interesting. Okay. I thought that just because I trapped her, that meant that was the real one. I guess I'm totally wrong. Neat. Good to know. That's actually very good information to have. 
So I guess he... He must have teleported up there. He must have. Oof. I can't say that I think Grasp is probably like ever the play for new Mordekaiser. And he has not proven me wrong on that thought. Alright, so my 900 damage ultimate is here. Go ahead, yoink someone. I almost have my Deep Blade of Snack Bar too. So that'll be some good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, I can afford the uh, Aloha snack bar now. Aloha! Boop. I actually remember when I was in Hawaii like 10 years ago. Beautiful place, by the way. That was probably my favorite vacation I've ever been on. There was a little food truck called the Aloha snack bar, and I think about that every single time that I say anything to do with dick bar or snack bar. Every single time. Is this the new rise? I think it is, right? Or not new rise, but you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. New rise. Oh, Dusk Blade coming in huge. Vision cleared. Vision cleared. Oof. That's some damage. That's some damage. Nice, he got the dragon. So who's gonna stop that guy? Cause I know it ain't gonna be me. I know it ain't gonna be me. Got him. Get off of me. Get off of me. Fuck off of me. Dude, these traps, though. Oh, my gosh. Destroyed. Those were perfect. All right. Dude, that's what we like to see. The burst damage. <laughs> now I can get this tower, too, because the only person this up is Nico. Aside from Rise, and we know exactly where Rise is. So I can get this bad boy right here. I think we did get that dragon, did we? Yeah, Ezreal, Ezreal did get the dragon, so that's even better. And this is 644, so we're getting, getting real close on that, too. Real close. Now the question is, do I go more lethality with Edge of Knights? Or do I go Lord Dominix and... Look, I think you guys know the choice. I think you guys know the choice. I've made my decision. We'll get Edge of Night now. If they start building armor, we'll sell the Edge of Night for Lord Dominix. But for right now, we're going to get Edge of Night and then Infinity Edge. So, we, we, we can change this as we go. But for now, that's, that's the play. That is the play. Boom! I must have missed Okay. I will be the artillery our team needs. Or he will. I ain't gonna be the real one. I am gonna say, like, after I launched my abilities there, I was like, there's no way that's the real one. We have to stop this rise from split pushing. It sucks that neither of our solo laners can actually, like, do anything to him. Dude, that took half of his health instantly. Oh my lord. I'm gonna flash out of that. What? What? Was that Nico's clone? Is that what that was? Cause Lee Sin just kinda disappeared there. I think that was I think that was Nico's clone. That must have been, right? Hmm. I do have my ultimate back up, so I can do a big buttload of damage to someone again. Hmm. I, 
think I missed my uh, my Q. I don't think that would have killed Nico, but it definitely would have chunked her. Okay. Wonder if I can kill it here though. Well, let's bust the Yomus. See if I can get in range of my ult. Cause I do have my Merman on now too. Ooh, get out of the way! Damn it. Whatever. Dude, that's only a 50 second cooldown. Not bad. Actually, I need to be paying a little attention here. Cause Ryze can try an ult behind me. Very cool that he didn't, but he can try. I wanna grab these and oh okay I guess I don't want to grab these I think we need help dealing with the rise though because rise is just gonna split I can't walk up because if I walk up Lee Sin just goes over the wall and kills me right now okay it looks like Mordekaiser is at least going back to deal with him that's good that's good Hmm. Damn it, he's in the Shadow Realm now. Well, at least he got him, but they get Baron. So, I really, really highly doubt they're waiting to cheese when they know that my entire team is down there. So I'm actually relatively safe to push this tower just on an educated guess. Or not tower, but push this uh, wave. Then we can go for this dragon instead. Because we're not, we're not stopping that Baron. Not with, uh, not with what we got. They are doing that so slow. Oh, Kaisa wasn't there. What? Oh, I am so sorry, team. We totally could have tried to stop that. I thought Kaisa was there that whole time. Oh, I'm trolling. Well. That just killed... The Kaisa from like half health. Oh my god. Okay. I messed that up. We still got the dragon, which is really good because it was an infernal, but we 100% could have stopped that Baron. I did not think that Kaisa wasn't there for any reason. So my bad. Big my bad. Damn, though. Damn. So I can get. So much damage here. As soon as I get 16, that's going to be really good for me. I hope this is enough to get me to 16. Yeah, it will be. Gimme. So, 750, 30 second cooldown on the alt. Let's go ahead and just hit him. Boom! Oh my god! 1200 damage on that. And I haven't even backed right now. Fifteen hundred damage on this ultimate, Jesus, man! And in ten seconds, I get my next Gathering Storm pro or tick. So four sixty-six AD. Two. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Four eighty-two. Not bad. No. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, dude. Almost one shot the Kaisa. She was like, don't worry, Nico. I'll body block it for you. Ba -boo! <laughs> I'm bringing the thunder now. Jesus, man. Oh, my lord. My ult's up here in just a couple seconds. I can just ult this guy. Oh, he realm warped out. Oh, he's not out, though. He's not out, though. Here he comes. Ba boom <laughs> Oh, my God. This is so much damage. Owie. My Edge of Night actually just blocked that. That's awesome. I would really like to have the blue buff just so I can have uh, my alt up as much as possible. But it's totally understandable if they don't want to give it to me. I mean, it's not because I'm awesome and amazing. 
but I'm gonna say it is. I am gonna say it is. Okay. Oh, it's another Infernal Drake next. Oh, this this guy should be dead, right? Oh, you hate to see it. I need to be extra far away here. Wait, why did my trap not go under her actual feet? Die. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. Dude, nice Lux. I'll do that. Got the Mobies off. Perfect. We can get this mid and hib now. Can we actually just go for the end of the game? Does he get this? Okay. I started wa or pathing over to that side just in case he actually got that hook. Dude, my autos chunk so hard. What the fuck? Alright, we've got 10 seconds, but I want to get out and spend my money. It's a lot safer for us to just get out of here right now. Good lord. I guess I can go for the infinity edge here. Because I can get the full thing. Yeah, I'll just go full IE. Because this gives me a crit chance and it also makes my headshot hit stronger, right? Because headshot counts as a crit. Yeah. Okay. Now we have the Elixir of Wrath. 569 AD. Almost a 2000 damage ultimate. 1800 to be exact. And that's going to that's gonna be hurting. Oh, man, they're starting to get a bunch of armor. Okay, so this is where I sell my Edge of Night for Lord Dominic's regards. Because now they all have some sort of armor item. Let's see. How much is this going to do to them? <laughs> 1,200. Just like that. Uh-oh. I guess I got outplayed. That's for sure. Okay. I mean, I have no defensive stats, right? Like, I've got zero. And he... Oh, I got the Infernal. 604 AD. I'm almost up. I can just ult here as soon as I'm up. He has no flash. So that guy... He doesn't have flash or Seraphs. Yeah, nice. Wait, where's our Ezreal? Oh, he's over there. He's over there. I mean, they can't end the game because they have no wave. But they do get this inhibitor. Okay. So Lord Dominix will actually lower my AD slightly by 10. But it will give me, what, 40% or 35% armor penetration. So when they're actually building armor now, that 35% armor penetration is going to be a lot more than the 18 lethality that I get. Or it should be. Should be. So we'll grab that. Be pretty well off. Be pretty well off. And now Rise doesn't have his flash for a while either. So even though they did get the inhibitor off of that, which is good for them. Um, we want this Elder so bad. A six Infernal team would be nuts. Oh my god. Shoot that there. not going to be enough. Oh my god, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Hook the invisible lady. Sweet. Trap. My traps have been set. So now I sit here. They can do this Baron super fast. I should be able to actually help from over the wall, right? Oh, it's not going to be enough. This isn't fun at all. Jesus. Dude, all those Zonias. Gee, many Krimis. Oh man, now Ryze ends the game. That's not good. That's not good. I guess I should have just been over on the Baron. Oh well. Oof. Alright, I believe in you, Ezreal. I believe in you. 
He's going to get the recall. Here he goes. Okay. Maybe? My faith was misplaced. That's okay. Well, I made some wrong calls there. It threw the game. Happens to the best of us. What you gonna do? So, we'll honor the Blitzcrank there. Still had a fun time that game with the build. It's an interesting build. It's a very interesting build indeed. And we still got the most damage in the game. Nice. Excellent. So, very strange build. Very fun build, though. It's definitely something worth trying if you're just looking to have a good time. Um... Though I do wonder if there would be a better rune for it. Because Fleet Footwork didn't, you know, didn't really do anything. Doesn't really do anything for me that game. Uh, or in general with that build at all. So, maybe a better rune for it. I don't know if Dark Harvest would be the play. Because Dark Harvest also implies that they have to be low enough that will damage them. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't actually know. But if you go Dark Harvest, then you can also get Ultimate Hunter for more ultimates. Maybe that is the play. Maybe that is the play. Who knows? Regardless, if you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like and a comment. Really just help me out. Losses happen. What can you do other than accept where you made your mistakes and go on and learn from them? Um, not much else I can do about that. And uh, if you did enjoy it, like, comment, all that stuff. Subscribe, ring that bell to be notified whenever I do upload a video. And as always, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!